Well, hello and happy April to all of those Gemini. Gemini, if you were born in May or you were born in June, I'm talking to you. Again, we are doing a decoding, a cosmic decoding, and a cosmic card decoding for all those Geminis out there. And I came in most of all on the unexpected part of the hour. We'll get to that in the future when we're over here decoding numbers to really understand our own evolution. But and Gemini, I got to tell you this, all of you, that this month is going to be a completion but it is also where you're going to step into that higher mind. I know, we know that your mind is moving all the time and as you're moving and in and out of different places because you're here to tap your wisdom and begin to help others to find the wisdom and who they are. How is your wisdom going to play out? I can tell you that this month you will see time to clear the path, time to let things and people go as you begin to see your place as the giver. As you give more to the world, you got to also clear out some of those who are holding you back. So I will say that destiny is here. It is always there. And this month in April, for all those Geminis out there, you're going to have a lot more choices and opportunities. We all are going to be stepping into a deeper place within ourselves. And you, gurus, <laughs> all those Geminis, again, G and G, guru and Gemini, yes, you are here to, as I said, activate your wisdom and to give even more to the world. So let's go ahead and jump in it. The way that this is going to work, as I'm doing for all the signs, is we're looking at the core themes. We're also thinking high above, also connected to the month of April. We're thinking about big vibrations over the weeks within April, as well as where do we see how we can activate and do and also get our many sides together? There's so much to all of us. I know I understand that with having a Venus in Gemini. I do understand that. Why limit me to one thing? I kind of like being good at the multi-talents. And I know all those Geminis do out there. And so we're also going to talk, I should say, give insight to those Gemini who were born in May, as well as those Gemini who were born in June. Yes, yours truly, I am the one and only, the Cosmic Doc. I understand the deeper variation of vibrations, but it is also even just the vibration of the zodiacs. Things hidden in plain sight. Nothing is hidden. Gemini holds a vibration in the same way that June holds a vibration in the same way that May holds a vibration. But we're talking about April. And so on our way out, if you will, spirit has led me to continue to allow every, remind you all that you all are the stars, continue to shine. So on your way out, we want you to think about how can you shine on this evolving path that is always got its contours and, and, and movements in, in different ways that you're navigating. So, all right, we're going to jump on in. And the way you're going to see it is that I knock the card so I can clear the energy. So that way you are not connected to the energy of someone or any other reading that came before. I am very clear in the knocks. The more you knock, there's a whole other vibration. So we're going to go ahead and start with the core themes. And with the core themes, that's sort of like fundamentally, what is going to, what do we need to keep in mind? What do all those Geminis need to keep in mind as you are moving forward on the pathway? All right, come on. Ancestors, angels, lead me, lead me, lead me. All right. So we've got three core themes going on. Let me go there first so we can look at the interconnection because I will say, and you will hear me say it all the time, the cards never lie. I hope you see what's in front. I know I see. I will also say that there's a parallel already between the signs and that is so exciting. So Find your power. I told you this is going to be the energy of clearing, letting go of other things and people and ways and lifestyle. Transformation is here. But, and it's only when you're ready to clear it out, let it go, declutter. Wow. This is one of my favorite cards. This is the millionaire's card. This right here is pointing to 
things from the past, something that you have been giving deeper vibration to. Because in every number, you can even see yourself if you look even closer. So when we look at a seven, you are that who has, and that's like a mind. It's hooked to the past and it's sort of that burning the midnight oil. What I'm pointing to is that this month, you are being, all the Geminis are being invited and re invited to be mindful of your value. Do you see yourself as a millionaire? What will it take to become that? Do you believe that you're sitting on million dollar ideas? Time to activate. So again, find your power. This is about manifestation. You're gonna find success in communication and in the multitudes in your life. I see a center point also really going deeper and higher, if you will, within the work world and also how you give. So a spade is all about transformation. New doorways are open that you're going to be able to find new ways of expression. So, all right, let's go and continue the vibrational outlook for all those Geminis. Again, it's, it's April. It is about that newness, but it's also going to be about <clears throat> using your mind. I'm going to knock it again. Using your mind in the right way at the right time. In fact, think before you speak. You know Mercury Retrograde is coming. In fact, the pre-shadow has already started now. Consider yourself forewarned. All right, Gemini, because sometimes you just like, oh, I'm moving. And you need to be mindful. A-P-R-I. We're going to get on to the L. Here we are. Okay. So the blue vibrationally is really, for me, signaling the clouds high up. Where and how can we look to the universe, to the divine, and say, please lead me even more? And within the month of April are five letters. Five is a vibration of change. You ready for change? Because it's here and it's coming. And you're being invited to find your balance. All right. So we have four of hearts, king of diamonds, king of clubs, jack of diamonds, and an ace of hearts. I hope you heard what I see, which is we have hearts on the beginning and hearts on the end. So this is about, mm, well, you're going to be climbing a ladder. It's going to be, as I was saying, new forms of expression as you attempt to find your balance. Some of you all may tip it over, but then others, you're going to really heed what you hear. And I encourage you to, because again, you are moving into a month that is offering even more choices on the pathway. You will find and activate even more of what you love. Hey, maybe you'll find that home that you really love. You really may find a job that you love. There will be the activation on the heart level. Two kings. Mm you're going to find mastery. But it also is signaling a very big energy. Wherever there's a K, it's big. The mouth is wide open to the future. King of diamonds means the master of business, but it also can mean big money. Maybe big money given, uh, maybe also big money owed. We know what comes up in April. So, all right, a king of diamonds, again, is reminding you about balance within the multi talents whatever it is that you're giving you can now begin to step into your full self all sides of yourself wherever that there's a diamond it is pointing to all four the full the whole self so all right get ready again to level all the way up a king of clubs oh yes you can i will also say you might be tested even more on your communication the power of your communication is so potent. It is in the starting and all throughout this month. But you're also going to be tested. Where there's Mercury retrograde, then there is, well, what you say? Hold on now. You know, people, well, I don't know. I can't remember. And then just a lot of things are off sort of in that communication realm. So this is reminding as you call in, greater divine guidance and universal insight 
it is I will encourage you to think about your communication and also how you're finding balance with the many things that you're doing because again we know no Gemini is just doing one thing all right jack of diamonds see again we have two diamonds we have three diamonds new doorways are opening for you now through it new wheels well not even just new wheels the wheels are continuing they're going to get stronger and faster and you are standing at an opportunity to have fun in these new ways of making money. Oh, I like that. That sounds fun. Yeah, so be open to finding your joy point. I mean, come on. You are the architect of the life that you want to create. So this Ace of Hearts is saying new beginnings on the heart level. This is about just the heart, the cup runneth over in the overflow, finding in the newness something, someone, some place, but just really finding a a love vibration. I mean, come on, that's what a heart is. Let's remind all of us. So again, I'm speaking to all those Geminis out there, whether you're born in May or you're born in June, this year, within the year of 2023 is already, and it has been, a sacred year. Two plus two plus three is seven. And so within the seven vibration, we are all oh, seven. We're all really requiring more time to ourselves. That's the other thing that I need to also remind the Geminis is you're out there moving with the swirls. I don't know if you all can see, but and Amid the swirls, yes, we transform and we get to meet new people and have great fun and just a whole other realm of living. But it is important to think about balance and sometimes taking time to withdraw from the world around. Sometimes the world can get too loud. Well, there it is. Okay, yeah. Well, of course, we're dealing with the Gemini vibration, so that would make sense. So every number, every card has a vibration. And I'm always led by spirit on how many and how all this is going. So flow with me, okay? So you have three cards, which aligns with Gemini energy because a three, and we're coming out of March, where wherever there's a three, it is the unexpected. It is creativity. It is just movement, things in motion. All right. And so what we're seeing in the weeks ahead for all those Geminis out there, five of diamonds, a king of hearts, and a nine of spades. So that is saying changes around money, Wow, really gathering those around you who really get you. It's like you're finding your tribe. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm digging it. But again, remember, we have a king here, king here, king here. And then we have another nine of spades. I'm telling you all, mm, the cards, they do not lie. Nine of spades, nine of spades. It is saying, Gemini, it's time to get your house itself in order. It's time to clean it up, let it go, let them go, kick it to the curb, kick them to the curb if necessary. Be the change maker. Be unafraid. Just go with the flow, but go with your flow and go with your full authentic flow. And through it, you're going to continue, or I will say that spirit is going to allow this flow for you to meet and gather with others that fulfill you on the heart level, that get you. But in order to get there, you have got to let go of those things that have been a part of the blur, that have been in the way, they've been the distraction. Now you need to point your heart to the universe even more because you are standing at an opportunity to truly arise like into a whole new realm of leadership. That's only if and when you're ready to get on with that. So, okay, we're going to keep it moving again, Gemini. Look at all of this. We got about five decks going on. And we're seeing all the parallel vibrations that are speaking to you, that are serving in many ways as a form of mediumship. It is the messages that come through that spirit is pushing through for all these Geminis. Again, you are here to, to be the master 
to be the mastery, to mastery. <laughs> mastery. It is about self-mastery. It is about activating the mind. So, all right, again, I'm going to shuffle it a little bit more. And then we're going to see where and how spirit is reminding you all. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm telling you, this month is for a lot of people. When you hear the word destiny, truly, think about what does that mean and how would you like for that to mean for you? Because in order to really get in on the destiny, and destiny is always happening. I don't know why people act like, oh, well, you know, it's still coming. It is always here. It's a new doorway that we are moving into as we navigate in between worlds and really stand in our truth. So we have four cards here. Spirit is really reminding you all to get your house in order. Wow, it's quite loud. Get your house in order. What does the house mean? And if I say the house of self, that's you. Take it time for you. Going deep on you. Ooh. Oh, look at it. We have an eight of clubs, a nine of diamonds, an ace of spades, and a king of clubs. My, my, my. King of clubs. King of clubs. King, 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 king. You with me? Ace, ace. Ace of spades. Look at all these spades. Spade, spade, spade. Wherever there's a spade, it's reminding you that transformation, the unlocking of the mind, the newness, and a whole new realm of expression, how you give to the world can really take center stage. OMG. So again, what this is saying is that an eight of clubs is about the realms, the infinite. What does the infinite mean for you? What does abundance mean for you? And for some of you, it may mean the finding of a whole new power through the communication, through the giving of the world through your voice, through your throat chakra, in speaking and, and allowing your voice to become a megaphone. Wow. Oh, that explains it. Yes, the megaphone, Gemini, where and how can you be multiple places and still just be one place? and then find success in being these multiple places. So I would encourage all those Gemini, April, step into that rung of power with communication. So with the Nine of Diamonds, again, it is saying clear the path because it is time to get right on your money. But it's also time to get right on who you really are, okay? I know I'm speaking to some Geminis out there. I know I'm hitting that heart level. Now, this ace of spades, I got to say, well, quite a powerful card. I will give you a side note. Every day is an energy. Every day holds an energy that connects to every card of the deck. And if, if there's one card that when it shows up, it, woo, let's just say it, it could be jaw dropping for those that know. It is this ace of spades. Yours truly, the cosmic doc, <laughs> who I am. <laughs> um, I was born on the day of ace of spades. And let me tell you, it is about death and ending and transformation of lifestyle and a newness of an ambition towards your work, how you give to the world. So be fearless as you clear the pathway of others. What has been in the way of you being able to step into your power and really get your abundance, really claim it? Because again, this king of clubs is saying, the universe has it right here for you. It's right here at your door. What you gonna do? You ready to step in? You ready to go all the way in? You can become an authority. Okay, step into it. I know when I see this, I think, yes, I can get some things done when I see a king of clubs. So allow your voice to resonate so far beyond the centuries. You don't even need to worry about how far it's going, but just let it go. Just speak, speak, but also find your balance in the multitudes of things that you have going on. So all right, now 
I want to speak to those May born and June born. So we're going to do some, I'm going to pull some cards for the May born Geminis because you all just like those Taurus is born in May to be born in the fifth month means that you live a life of changes of things sometimes being abrupt and swift and fast but many of you also you have your mind towards something much further this is where the visionaries lie where they're born I should say and those who have great memories and or maybe you've been tested your whole life on your memory <laughs> But the change makers, the change bringers. So, all right, again, we're speaking to those Mayborn, Jim and I. We want to pull some cards specifically for you. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's the fourth month, but I just heard spirits say house. It is all about four. So, all right. So, with this energy, though, what I hear coming in is not just these crossroads and choices, but also having faith, having faith in the pathway, trusting the divine. And here we are again. So we have a Jack of hearts, see that Jack and that Jack. And we have a 10 of spades, a queen of clubs and an ace of diamonds. So for all those may born Gemini, you are standing, some of you all are moving in between worlds and you're moving towards your happiness. And in it, it is, this is representative of a change, a completion, a leveling up. My gosh, some of you, it may be a relationship. It may be finding, you know, a home within the home of a family and the starting of that, or it may be starting a job that you love. But nonetheless, right here, this 10 of spades is, pointing to a completion and transformation that is happening that is allowing you, maybe you are getting a raise, a promotion of some sort, and you're moving even higher on the pathway. Now, what is also connected here that I want to remind us, again, this is all the Geminis, but even more the Mayborn, this month holds potential for you to give birth to a multitude of things, okay, to let's say, be able to do a variety of things. If you were worried about how all this is going to handle, you're going to be able to do it. But you're also going to find new ways of expressing yourself and communicating to the world. For others of those Geminis out there, again, we're still speaking to the Mayborn. This is the moment to pick up the microphone. Two, again, you all see it, communication. The megaphone is here for you to step into broadcast, whatever that, that can be. Writing, because this month, for anyone who has a writing project of some sort, this can be the, the month and the moment, the vibrational moment that you can really own it and you can become that authority in it. I mean, goodness, queen of clubs, king of clubs, king of clubs, it's all here showing you this. And then look at all these aces, ace, ace, ace. New beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings, and new beginnings around money. Remember, something from the past is allowing a whole new activation of an outflow of money that is coming your way, the newness and the new beginnings and new ways to make money are right here for you. So again, I'm speaking to all those Mayborn, Gemini, Get ready because a change is coming swift and fast. You're going to love it. And you're just going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that that came because now it's truly time to level on up and get all of the abundance that you feel that you are worthy of. Because whenever we talk about diamonds or money or abundance, it is about what value do you see in yourself to receive? Or are you an overgiver? Or maybe not. Again, you see, I keep knocking. There must be something that had to truly be clear for these June-born Geminis. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, the June-born Gemini, what the universe is, quite loudly, and quite loudly blowing in, is for you... There's been the unexpected even more. 
There is almost the rug being pulled from up under us. How do we do it? How do we navigate it? How do we get back up? Where and how do we begin to look up and then get on up and just move on forward with the abruptness that is happening? Because for those June born, I'm telling you, I saw it. It was just like, got snatched from up under you. And it's a good thing. It's on time and it's necessary because through it and because of it, vibrationally now you so we got a king of diamonds a seven of spades i'm not a king of diamonds a king, slow down a king of spades a seven of spades a joker yes yours truly does decode jokers and then two of spades and a queen of clubs right now i'm speaking to those june born gemini you're here to find your joy point you're going to continue to move in between worlds. And a lot of things oftentimes will vibrationally be hooked to the past. And it's about how you begin to find the light and be the truth in the evolution. So with a king of spades that is saying, this is, <laughs> this is another one of my favorite cards. A king of spades is about really owning, becoming this dynamic, profound expert within the work world, within how you speak to the world, within also how you give to the world. A seven of spades is also, again, we're saying that something from the past is about to help you to level all the way up. Turn to your personal time. And what I initially was really also hearing is turn to your inner power. This month, you are, all those Gemini's, you need more time to yourself. Take the time, steal it in whatever way that's necessary because there's new awakenings that are happening all around you. As you give, this is now for all the Gemini, but as you give more time to yourself through being separate from this loudness of vibration that has been ongoing, then you can gain clarity. So as you make time for your sacred and connect with your inner power, your inner being, your inner child, the new awakenings can happen that are just going to catapult your, your whole pathway. And you see, we have a joker here. Now, a lot of people may not realize this, but again, every card has some letter Okay, Joker is just like a jack. It's all decodable. Why would you overlook a Joker? Because the Joker energy is saying that everything now is coming to this moment of how you are learning from the wheels of change that have come before. Again, I've told you something blowing from the past that you have really needed time to reflect, to reflect, to review, to reflect <laughs> even more on who you are, how you have been, within this world, maybe this relationship, whatever that it may be. And now it is about, as you walk through these fires of transformation that have very much been testing you, and as you, again, move in between worlds, some of you, it may be packing up and moving far away, going somewhere else, or changing. It may be extreme change of the industry. Maybe you move from one industry and go completely to another. This right here is a powerful card. Two of spades is about working partnerships so you can find alignment within this whole new world of others that June born, Jim and I, are standing at the door, standing on the edge of it. This can be where things come together and working partnerships can be in alignment, they also, meaning together and, and work in partnerships can also be separate where it works best in other ways. Because again, this card is reminding us about you finding the balance of your mind and what you say and guard against the overthinking. I know easier said than done, but a two of spades is saying that transformation is here. And it's also going to test you about how you are in the world of others. But this is pointing to partnerships and that they can work in finding the right balanced flow. Because the world can truly get loud, but and where and how we find the best partnerships, then we can find 
So you maybe you'll find not even just a relationship. Maybe this is a, a business partner, an yeah, agent, maybe um an editor, whatever. It's just about worlds coming together in a whole other way. So the Queen of Clubs is saying that through all of these changes and this evolution that is happening, you can and will be very successful in how you give to the world because as you give to the world, you're going to find yourself and find your voice. And then again, as I've been saying through all of it, you're just going to find that innate, even stronger ability to balance your multi projects and your multi talents. So, all right, we got one more so we can empower all of those Geminis out there again, the May born and the June born. You all are here to activate and to find your alignment and also to help others around to find their alignment because as the world experiences Gemini, you don't have to be a Gemini to feel that energy. Your energy flows out. We know that. That's why I said again, you're here to bring your wisdom and also to flow to the future. I'm going to knock it one more time. Oh, yes. Three knocks is all about moving through the unexpected but also having a a mind and an ear to the past and what has come before so for all those gemini on your way out spirit is leading me to remind you that you are the star and you will shine oh they just gave me an image of a star all this gold you're just shining and shining and shining so changes are above and below. Changes are everywhere. Changes are a wheel. And we have five because spirit led me to remind us to shine through the changes, to embrace it, to be okay with it, and to trust the universe. Mm. Wow. Wow. Seven of diamonds, doo -doo -doo -doo. five of diamonds, queen of spades, 10 of diamonds, and a joker. My goodness. See, I just clear and tune in and then spirit says, so all right, on your way out, as you think about the transformation that is happening and you begin to see and believe the shine that is there within that is beginning to flow out. As you awaken to yourself, you're going to find your happiness and you're going to shine. But you got to see the millionaire within yourself. You also need to take time for yourself and to really understand who you are in your full authentic self. Also take stock of value. What does money mean to you and what does money not mean? And how, Because money really is a vibration. What does abundance mean and how would you like to live an abundant life? Five of Diamonds is saying that there will be changes around money but also learn from the past as these new wheels of change are happening all around. You got to see to the future. Maybe really think about your legacy. Really think about how you want to get some things in order. Because again, if the rug is sometimes pulled from up under us, we need to be able to move very quickly, especially around money. Queen of Spades is saying that you can find, you can and will find success within work in how you give to the world. So this is about success and accomplishment and just fulfillment as you begin to find clarity and make time for yourself and commune with the divine in the universe, you can find greater success within the work world. And a 10 of diamonds, mm, mm, mm. as changes around money comes, as you see the sacredness around yourself and really get clear on the vibration of money, you also stand in an opportunity amid your shine to level up, to see a completion, to also really stand in your originality and your pathway so you can begin to give even more. So again, a 10 of diamonds is saying, get ready to stand in your truth. New and multi opportunities are coming for you to level on up. And through it, you may also amass a following. Yeah, a whole lot of people enjoy you. Boop, boop, boop. Very similar to that king of hearts. So, very powerfully, not last, certainly not least, the Joker card. All of this is saying that, Gemini, you're moving in between the rungs, you're moving in between the worlds, and as you do so, 
You've got to make time for your divine, whatever that the divine can be, whatever that the universe is. You've got to get to the center. You got to go to your divine center because through it, you're going to find your voice and your voice is going to be sought out. So as you move in between, if you're in the flow or you're creating the flow, but as you move in between worlds, think about how you give to the world. It hasn't been exhausting the way you've been doing it, or has it been balanced the way it should be? This is going to be your opportunity to think about that. This is going to be the opportunity to use your mind in how you give to the world. And there also is going to be an unlocking of the mind. As these fires of transformation continue to just activate all around, and we're just standing in the middle of it. Again, I'm speaking to all those Gemini. As you find yourself within the fires of change, of forward movement, because as change happens, you are forced, you're propelled forward. How do you get back up? That's where I started. The cards, they don't lie. So again, find your joy point. You also, I want to remind for some Gemini, there may be some tricksters around you again. Well, you know, it's just sort of this movement in between worlds. So again, pay attention to your personal time, your time with the divine. For all the Gemini, be open and ready to find your tribe, to be the authority on your pathway, and to also really master, to be become the expert in and also being sought out for what you have to say, for using your penetrating mind. So may, uh, may April be your activating month where a new unlocking happens and you learn to love yourself and begin to build a world that you can love being in. So all right now, again, I am the one and only, the Cosmic Doc, and I'm coming on to empower all of those Gemini, Mayborn and Juneborn. Get ready. April is going to be so many activations. You are coming to a place of completion as you begin to walk through worlds. And then on the other side of it, you're going to be stepping even more in the manifestation of your wildest dreams. This is your moment. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>